everybody. Welcome back to Happy Bake Day, where every day is a happy bake day. I hope that you had a chance to check out my recipe for the incredible chocolate peanut butter mousse pie. If you missed that episode from last week, you can check it out right here. Now to get fall ready with some hopefully nice, beautiful, cool weather, today we are going to be making a delicious apple crisp. This will be made in two parts. Part one is to be making our delicious apple filling, and part two is going to be making the crumble topping. For our apple filling, you will need the following ingredients. Half a cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, quarter teaspoon of salt, four large Granny Smith apples peeled and sliced, and one and a half tablespoons of whole milk. Our first step is to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. In a large bowl, you're going to combine your sugar, flour, and cinnamon and salt, and you're gonna mix really well. Add your apples, your milk, and your vanilla, and you're going to toss everything really well together until your apples are really nicely coated. Next, we're going to make our crumble topping. For that, you will need the following ingredients. Half a cup of old-fashioned oats, quarter cup of walnuts chopped, half a cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of packed dark brown sugar, and a quarter cup of unsalted butter melted. In a medium bowl, you're going to combine your oats, your walnuts, your flour, and your brown sugar. Mix until everything is well combined. Next, add in your melted butter and use your fork to gently toss everything together until large crumbles form. Next, you're going to pour your apple mixture into an eight by eight glass baking dish. Use a spatula to evenly layer them up on the bottom of your dish. Then add your crumble topping over the apples and again, you wanna evenly spread them across the top. After you're done, this is ready for baking. You're going to bake your apple crisp in your oven for about 40 to 45 minutes or until the top is beautifully golden and the apples start bubbling. And with that, our apple crisp is done. And oh my gosh, is it beautiful. The cinnamon and the apples just have the most incredible aroma. My kitchen smells absolutely amazing. The crumble on the top is beautifully browned. It stayed nice and kind of in full chunks. So that'll be a nice crunchy bite compared to the sweet and soft apples underneath. They did, the apples did break down a little bit during baking. So they're going to be soft and tender, maybe even a little gooey and that's going to be perfect. I do recommend serving this while it's still warm maybe with a scoop of your favorite ice cream. Vanilla is a great choice for this. Maybe a little bit of salted caramel sauce on top, but any, either way, this is ready for eating. Thank you so much for joining me today while we made our fall ready apple crisp. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you had fun baking with me today. I appreciate each and every single subscriber as you join me on this journey from banker to baker. Don't forget to like my video and subscribe to the channel if you had fun baking with me today. Until next time, I hope you have a very happy bake day.